Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elle and I make ethical fashion YouTube videos every Sunday and today is a super exciting video. I'm going to teach you how to host a free and fun clothing swap for your friends. So clothing swaps are a great way to hang out with friends, have fun over clothing and to get cool pieces without having to spend a dollar. And it also helps to reduce textile waste but really the ultimate reason to host a swap is to foster community and inspire conscious living. Especially a among those new to the journey. By inviting like-minded people into your home, which is really your sacred space to share secondhand clothing and food and conversations, you encourage an authentic, sustainable fashion community in a very safe and cozy environment. So let's dive in and let me show you how to organize a really memorable clothing swap event. Okay, so first, planning. You really need to decide on a time and a date that works for most of your friends. If you are anything like me, my friends are really hard to coordinate and usually weekends are ideal. So make sure to make a list of friends that you think would be interested and just text them asking if they'd be interested in coming to a clothing swap and if they would be free. I recommend keeping this small just to make the event more casual and more pleasant. And once you have a set time that works for mostly everyone, create a guest list and send out invites. You can do this via text, email, or even a Facebook event and make sure to include all the necessary details like the date, time, location, and any specific guidelines for the swap. Okay, so now we're setting the rules. So it really is important to set ground rules to ensure your swap goes smoothly. Um, think about the theme of the swap. Are you limiting it to just friends and family, both men and women? Are you just doing seasonal clothing? Also think about the women that are coming and the men that are coming. Think about their shapes and sizes. And this will really ensure that you provide inclusive options for everyone, not only women, Women, but men and plus size because they may end up feeling left out if you don't and it really won't foster an inclusive swap if, if you don't think about all people especially if you have friends with different sizes and shapes consider doing a shoe and accessory swap especially because shoes and accessories usually fit everyone and then from there the most important thing to remember is to ask your friends to bring gently used clothing items that are in good condition really emphasize that there should be no stains or tears to make sure everyone comes away with beautiful and good quality clothing and don't forget to remind your guests to bring a reusable bag for their new pre-loved items you can also make sure to have extra just in case people forget so they can bring home their clothing in a really cool bag and then second establish a fair system for swapping you can use a ticket or a token system where everyone gets a certain number of tokens based on the number of items they bring i recommend this if you have a large group of friends coming over and want to have some control over the distribution. However, I personally recommend telling them to just bring a couple of things to swap, probably about three to five pieces, just to diversify options and to take as much as they brought. And lastly, think about how you'd possibly handle the leftover items even before the swap begins. This is important because it's normal to have leftover clothing, whether because they're out of trend, they're a little bit more worn in, or simply because no one really liked it and it's, an, it's no one's style. And you can always do donate the excess to charity or to your local thrift store or you can even plan on recycling and upcycle them responsibly and so the next step is preparing the space I really encourage you to think about your space for the day of clear out an area where everyone has the ability to lay out their clothes for display and I think most likely this will be your living room and you'll have to use probably the tables and the chairs there and you can always like make little sections or what I call dumps for people to be able to sort through categories of different clothing so it doesn't get too messy and then you should probably try to get some mirrors so your friends can like try things on and see how it looks and I recommend you keep some chairs unoccupied if there's enough space so people can relax they can hang out with all the pieces that people are bringing in and you can even try designating a room for people to just change in besides the bathroom <laughs> another cool interesting idea is that you can invite guests to wear a bathing suit underneath their clothing so they could try the clothing on in a less awkward way and then for lighting make sure to turn on your cutest little lamps and candles to make some really cute memories and to avoid really harsh lights which can make it harder to envision possible outfits and new pieces it makes just the vibe more comfortable and aside from exchanging clothes one of the best parts of a clothing swap is meeting new friends feel free to bring snacks and drinks and also ask guests to bring dishes of their own I think nothing encourages community more like having them 
bring their own favorite snack or dish that really reflects their personality. And I think a dish with a story is a really great conversation piece and can help people bond and make those critical new friendships. Okay, so now let's actually get into the actual swap. Make sure to send a reminder text to the people you invited the day beforehand, beforehand, to emphasize the most important parts you want them to remember. So that is usually what to bring. This will ensure, hopefully, fingers crossed, that they bring really good items and that people actually show up. And when your friends actually arrive to see the swap, collect their items and try to display them in a cute way around the space that you created. And people likely flow in at different times, so don't wait until everyone is there to get started. Let people pick and choose as they come in because they'll be super super excited to see what pieces have been brought and it's also just good for you as a host to bring your own clothing in the beginning of the swap so everyone that comes in early can have new options and just like flow in and get started also let people settle in by giving them a tour of your place if they haven't been already and just try to make them feel comfortable by offering them again something to drink give them a snack and then you can explain what the clothing swap is all about and remind them of the swapping system it really helps if you encourage them to try clothing so they can really look at the options and hopefully fall in love with a piece you will really be the one that's setting the vibe and hopefully you like make it fun and that will make it a, a successful clothing swap and as the swap is continuing to grow and progress during the time frame that you decided just keep the drinks, whether it's juice or wine, whatever going, offer snacks to everyone, ask people how they've been. Just try to like encourage the socialization of it. You can add some cool music in the background to encourage the moods. Foster this connection over, over clothing with your friends. And you can also think about personalizing the clothing swap by setting up a mending station so that people can bring their clothing that they need or want mended. Or you can consider printing educational posters with facts about the fashion industry to put up around your space so that it's an educational and fun swap at the same time and it may sound surprising to mention but encourage people to come out of their comfort zone and try new things try giving them fashion styling tips if you're up for it and as the event continues to progress and end just make sure you're collecting any leftover clothing items and you can always thank your friends for coming and let them know how important this was for practicing sustainable fashion and a good idea too is to let your guests know about the donation plans ahead of time before the end of the swap so they can also bring extra items that are laying in their house that are unsuitable for the swap but are perfect for donations and when they leave remind them of the plan for the remaining clothes whether you're donating them or disposing responsibly somewhere this will really just emphasize how intentional and sustainable your swap is and the importance of taking care of clothes after its life and also encourage everyone to exchange contact information I think this will happen naturally but yeah just try to further relationships among your friends and a pro tip too is that the following morning you can even send out an email thanking everyone for joining the clothing swap and offer just like words of encouragement and resources for them to continue on their path towards sustainable fashion and I just want to leave you with a couple final thoughts that hosting a clothing swap for your friends is really just a fun thing to do and it's totally doable and it's just a great way for everyone to refresh their wardrobe and to bond and to socialize and if you have a Polaroid camera you can always capture moments of your friends and then share them on social media to encourage others to like host their own swaps and Cool, yeah, well this was really the end of the video because yeah, clothing swaps are really straightforward, really fun, and hopefully if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I make weekly videos on ethical fashion and I upload every Sunday and yeah, hopefully you learned something. Let me know what resonated. If you have any questions in the comment section and I'm happy to answer it and let me know what future content you want me to make. I'm happy to take recommendations. Okay, until next week, peace and love, Al.